What's up guys, it's Justin with Two Poor Garage. Today we are taking a look at the Chemical Guys Diablo Wheel Cleaner. And this is for all wheel types. It will remove brake dust fast. It is spot free, great for tires and wheels. Before the video starts, I need to say that I am not sponsored by Chemical Guys, but I am sponsored by these guys. And by these guys, I mean Excalibur Clothing. Excalibur Clothing is a newly released streetwear brand located in a small town in Illinois of all places. And honestly, I wasn't like too keen on doing a sponsorship, but I got a couple uh, shirts and hoodies from these guys and their stuff is awesome. It's super affordable, super comfortable. The shipping is lightning quick. If you want to order some stuff, go ahead and head on over to www.excaliburstores.com and uh, use your email, sign up, and I'll give you 10% off your first order. Now with that little promo out of the way, we're going to get a closer look at these wheels. Now these are fairly new. Uh, not exactly the oldest wheels that I have uh, at the house right now, but nonetheless, still get very dirty. It's getting towards the end of summer. It's dusty. The fields are being picked, so dust is constantly getting kicked up. And, you know, the wheels, they get dirty fast. First, what I'm going to do is spray these tires down, and you don't necessarily need to blast them with water. We're going to start the Chris Fix way here by using our soapy water spray this down and the reason that i'm using something so simple and cheap is because i bought a lot of products that i just didn't necessarily need and they didn't turn out the way i wanted them to and i found that doing stuff myself or doing things cheaper will not only save me money and disappointment in the long run but they tend to look a little bit nicer and it gives you more feeling of satisfaction that you could do it yourself anyways let's get to cleaning these wheels now that I've applied my soapy water, I'm going to take my microfiber towel and uh, wipe it down. And then after the contaminants are gone, we're going to apply the wheel cleaner. So we've got the soap off and they look decently okay, but if you get close, you can see there's some inconsistencies. And that's something that I, for some reason, really can't stand. I like the car to look its absolute best always, and that's a really big pain living somewhere that does not appreciate decent roads. Nonetheless, I'm going to get this on here, and then I'll show you guys the next step. With the wheel cleaner applied, and remember, when you're cleaning a wheel or anything on your car, you want to start from the top and all the way to the bottom. And the reason because is, well, for one, gravity, and two, the bottom of the car is usually dirtier. And if you, you know, it'll save you some time if you clean up here and let the soap kind of drop down on there. We have our wheel cleaner applied. Now what I'm going to do is let it simmer there, wait for a little bit and I will get back to it with a microfiber towel. So after you've had your wheel cleaner applied and you've wiped it down again for the second time with your microfiber towel, this will be your end result. And just the shine, the camera really doesn't do it justice. The shine is nearly flawless. Uh, I've neglected these wheels a little bit, so I'm gonna have to get in there a little bit better and agitate the dirt and dust, but um, they look fairly amazing. and. I need to let you guys know that after you use something like this that's colored, especially on a black wheel or a alloy wheel, you know, aluminum, whatever type of wheel it is, don't dry it and let it sit because you'll have marks like this in here where they'll dye your wheels if you're not careful. And that is only if you let it sit in there. You wash it out with water right after, you're good to go. But do not let this stuff. I made the mistake on my Fusions wheels, and now, uh, well, not anymore, but one of the wheels was dyed um, red. So, with that being said, let me take you to the front, and I'll show you the difference. So, these are the wheels up front, and they're just no shine, absolutely filthy. And they look about as fantastic as I can get them. If you guys need more evidence, go out and buy some for yourself. I, ne I never actually have ever in my product reviews encouraged people to go buy these products. Um, because I want you guys to make the decision for yourself. That's what this whole channel is based on. Making the decision for yourself after seeing a demonstration of the product and hopefully making sure you know exactly what you're going to get out of the product that you purchase. So yes, I absolutely would recommend this wheel cleaner. 
But I think that will probably do it for today's video, guys. If you have any recommendations or anything that you would like me to review, please leave that in the comments section below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, also please, please put that in the comments section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I physically can. But I think that about wraps it up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.